The key to creating a good brushed shader is a thing called an isotropy. What it does is stretch the glossy reflections of a shader in one direction. You can also control the rotation of the stretching and with a tangent node you can pick the general direction of the anisotropy. To make a brushed metal, let's start with a principled BSDF. Bring the metalness to 1 and the anisotropy to around 0.8. From here, we can play with the rotation or the tangent but you'll see we're getting some strange results. If you want perfect control, we should set the tangent node to UV and unwrap our object in a way that the faces follow the direction we want the anisotropy to be. To make it more visual, let's get a brushed metal texture like this one and use it in our object. Set the UVs to follow the direction of the brushes. The easiest way to do this is by selecting a face region, resetting its UVs and then using the follow active pods unwrap method. You might have to scale the results to prevent stretching. We can also use the same brush texture in the bump, glossy and diffuse slots for a bit of extra detail. Something important is that the direction of the anisotropy is always perpendicular to the direction of the brush strokes. You might have to adjust the anisotropy rotation depending on your texture. Subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching.